in 10th gives Indians 1-0 win over Jason Kipnis. 10th inning single scored Chris Jimenez and gave the Cleveland Indians a 1-0 victory over Minnesota on Monday night. The Twins' 11th straight loss. Kipnis lined a 1-0 pitch from Brandon Kinsler, 0-1, with one out to left center to finally break up the scoreless game. Abraham Almonte pushed to bunt past Kinsler and beat the throw to first to start the inning. He met his fouled off two bunt attempts before poking a single through the right side with Almonte moving to second. Third baseman Miguel Sano fielded Reggie Davis's slow roller. Third base umpire Ron Kepler ruled Sano tagged Almonte and the call was upheld after a Cleveland challenge. Kipnis then hit the second pitch from Kinsler for the game winner. Zach McAllister, 3-2, worked out of a bases loaded gem in the 10th, retiring Max Kepler on a fly ball to end the inning. The losing streak is Minnesota's longest since September 9-21, 2011. Neither starter was involved in the decision. Trevor Bauer allowed five hits in six innings for Cleveland, while Hector Santiago gave up three hits in six and a third innings for the Twins. Cody Allen retired the first two hitters in the tenth before walking Joe Mauer. Trevor Plouffe singled off the glove of shortstop Francisco Lindor and Sano walked on a 3-2 pitch. Indians manager Terry Francona removed Allen, who threw 37 pitches. McAllister fell behind 2-0, but even the count before Kepler flied out to center. Davis started the eighth with an infield hit, beating third baseman Jorge Polongo's strong throw to first. After two forced plays, Mike Napoli singled to right, but Lindor was thrown out at third by Kepler. The L Central leaders have struggled against the last place twins this season. Cleveland is 6-8 versus Minnesota and 29-9 against the rest of the division.